Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United, I'm of course George. Welcome along to the channel and a happy Easter to everybody who's watching uh, at the moment. So yeah, Easter of course, isn't it? So yeah, today uh, we're looking at the loan players, the players who are out on loan this season and um, I'm going to run through them all and see you know, give my thoughts on what's going to happen to them next season. Of course, join in the chat, in the comments below. Give me your thoughts on, on these players. What do you see uh, will happen to them? What do you think Jesse Marsh is going to do with them? But just to be clear, this is what I think um, and I would like to see happen to them, not what I think Jesse Marsh will do with them. If there's uh, any cry for that sort of you know thing I'll do a video on what I think Jesse Marsh will do with them but just to reiterate it once more this is what I think so let me know in the comments below like I said join in and see you know and let me know what you think of it as always thanks for subscribing and everything like that there has been a slight upturn on the um, <coughs> excuse me on the channel so yeah, uh, thanks for that. Anyway, let's get into it then. Um, so the first one I'll speak of is that man that I'd like to see as far away from Ellen Road as possible, and that is Kiko Casilla. I am not a fan of him at all, um, you know, and that is not even taken into the account of his goalkeeping ability, even though he's not not brilliant at that either. But yeah, look. Kiko Garcia, he's been on loan at El Shea in in, um, in La Liga, the um, you know La Liga Spanish, obviously Spanish first division. El Shea, um, he hasn't played since October. Um, you know he he played the first, I think he played the first twelve games in El Shea's um, La Liga season, but then he hasn't played since then. I don't know what's happened. Um, but yeah, I mean he's been on the bench a fair few times since then, but he hasn't had any minutes at all. So I don't I don't know what what's gone on there. Um, obviously, I'd like to see him sold. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people would. Let me know in the comments. Like I said, what you think of Kiko Casilla? I would like to say I'd like to see him as far away from Ellen Road and Leeds United as possible. Um, I actually, um, I think the club will probably sell him as well. Um, they seem quite happy with, um, you know, with the, with the goalkeepers they've got. I mean, we will come on to another goalkeeper who was obviously on loan in a moment, but Leeds do seem quite happy with the players that they've got, with the keepers that they've got at the moment. And that is taking into account class and as well. I know there is a bit of thought about will they get a, a backup goalkeeper, more experienced backup goalkeeper in the summer, I don't think they will. I think Marsh is, is quite happy with class and Amelier. So, yeah, I can see Kiko Casilla being um, being shipped out. I think he's got a bit longer to run on his contract, but I don't <clears throat> I don't think um, he's got any future at Leeds. Uh, the next goalkeeper, build, of course, is Elia Capril, who's on loan at Syria Seaside Pro Patria. Um, and, yeah, he's had a good season. 32 games he's played, he's done well. Um, he's obviously still very young. They do have, like I said, I do think they do have high hopes for um, for this lad Capril. Um, but I do think he'll probably benefit from another season out on loan. Maybe in England, maybe put him into the Championship or you know something like that, just to um, see how he gets on at a bit of a higher level. No disrespect to the Italian Syria, you know Syria C division, the third division of Italian football, but it, you know, is probably not the best of quality. We do uh, probably need to see him at another loan uh, before he steps in and has a bit of competition into the first team. Uh, so yeah, I think the loan, I, I, I would loan him out. Um, so then into a few defenders that we've got on loan, obviously Leif Davis. Leif Davis is obviously on loan at Bournemouth, who are flying at well, they're not flying, but they're at the top of the pre, top of the championship at the moment. They've hit a bit of a stumbling block, something at the moment, Bournemouth. But um, yeah, look, I don't know if they'll go. Up. They, they've got that little bit of cushion ahead of uh, the other, you know, the chasing pack in the playoffs. 
um, and games in hand on them, but they just have struggled recently. I think is it uh, no wins in three, no goals in three. I think as well for Bournemouth. So um, yeah, look, Davis has been in and out of the team, but I think correct me if I'm wrong. Anybody watching? But I think it's um, a, a view to a permanent deal. Uh, Leif Davis' loan um, to Bournemouth. So, yeah, in, I do think they'll sell him Leeds. And, you know, he's 22 now, Davis, and I think he'd have broken in um, to the first team if he was going to break in by now. Um, I don't see him really having a future at Leeds, to be honest. I do think they're going to look to sell Davis in, in, the, in the summer. Even though, in my opinion, I think we probably do need cover at left-back. But then again... Firpo, I think, will step into to first choice, obviously, uh, as long as he can keep away from injury. Obviously, we've got Stuart Dallas then on a, a, on left back, and I do think he'll probably try and bring in another academy product um, into left back. So, yeah, I think we've probably, we'll probably have seen the last of Leif Davis in the Legion United shirt. I do think he'll probably sign for Bournemouth in the summer. He's done all right there. Like I said, it's been a... Bit of a stop-start season for Davis, um, really. But he's, you know, he's 22. Like I said, I think he, if it was Leeds, he'd it, have, it'd have, you know, broken in by now. There's obviously younger lads in that team that have broken in. Um, I just don't see him. You know, I just don't see it happening for him, unfortunately, because he is quite a talented player by all accounts. But yeah, that's for me. Um, I think he'll. Yeah, I think Leeds will sell him, and I would probably sell him as well. Like I said. You know, he's he's getting a. He's not a young player. Really. Well, he is young, but he's not young, young, is he? And I think he he would have broken into the first team if he was, um, you know, if he was up to standard at the moment. So yeah, that's what I do with him. And and then that moves on to, of course, another player playing in the championship, the other end of the championship, really. And that is Cody Drama. Now, Cody Drama, there's no question about it. I would bring him back straight away after his loan finishes at Cardiff. I know Steve Morrison wants him back at Cardiff for the next season. I don't think it's happening, Steve, to be honest with you. I think Leeds United will bring him back in, you know, right back again. It's his cover. and Bielsa obviously didn't really want to, to play him or he wasn't happy with the game time he was getting. I do think he'll probably get a bit more game time next season under Jesse Marsh. Um, you know, Luke Ayling's ageing, isn't he? I know Ayling will probably still be our first choice right back next season, but Cody Drama, for me, has to, you know, he has to be involved in the first team. He's on for Cardiff City's Player of the Year, and he's only been there since January. He's put in some real high performances, um, and yeah, for me, only 20, yeah, bring him back and, and have him involved in the first team next season all day long. So into midfield, the lads that we've um, you know that we've got out on loan in midfield. Then Matthias Bogus, whose season was ended by a long-term injury, unfortunately, he was on loan at, at uh, UD Ibiza in the Spanish second division. I think they are in, are they? Any Ibiza fans? Anybody in Ibiza? Uh, let me know how that team is doing. I think they're second in the second division. Anyway, Matthias Bogus was having a brilliant season. Um, you can see on your screen there the, the stats that he has. Um, you know, he's done well, but he unfortunately got a, got an injury. I think it was the start of this year. He got a season-ending injury, and he is now back at Leeds, um, you know, doing his recovery, getting getting fit and back ready for the new season, wherever that would be for him. Um, and for me, I'd keep him at Leeds. I'd keep him... Obviously, he'll recover from um, from his injury. Um, I'd keep him. I think he's he's shown that he's got good uh, attributes, and yeah, I do. I just think I'll. Uh, I think I'd uh, I'd keep him to be honest with you, and uh, yeah, and that that for me, it'll be uh, it'll be what the club. I don't know if the club will do, um, but definitely. Uh, I would give him a chance. I think he's shown promise. He's, he's had a few appearances, didn't he, in the Championship under Bielsa in our title-winning campaign. I, I'd keep him. Um, but let me know what your thoughts are on Matthias Bogus. Obviously, again, the Italian, the sorry, the Spanish second division is, um, you know, is a different quality to the Premier League, isn't it? But whether he's there, we know we need centre, you know, centre midfield players at Ellen Road, don't we? But whether he's up to scratch. 
I'd keep him um, as a as a as an option in the centre of midfield. But anyway, that's that's what I think. Moving on then to to Alfie McCalmont. Um and McCalmont he's been on loan at Morecambe, hasn't he? Been in and out the squad. He doesn't seem to be able to get a good run in the side um, at League One level, isn't it? And I don't know really. I think uh, for me, his time is he'd probably go on another loan. He, he's always, it's a funny one with McCalmont because he's obviously 22, you know, and I feel like he should, again, like Davis, have, have got into the first team if he was ever going to do it, now is the time that he's going to do it. Um, yeah, and I don't think he will. It's funny because he's a he's a Northern Ireland international. He's a full international. He's playing down in League One at Lone and Morecambe, and I just I don't see him. I just don't see it. I don't see him playing. Um, I don't see him having a future at Leeds United. I think he'll probably. Uh, I think he'll probably go on. Um, on loan again, but then if you're going to go give him on loan, you might as well sell him. So it's a funny one. I don't. I just don't see him having a future. Uh, Ellen Rowe, just you know, let me know in the comments what you think. Of course, on Alfie McCalmon as well. So yeah. So moving on then to Ian Pervader, another one um, like Cody Drama and Leif Davis. That's on loan re uh, currently in the Championship, um, and he have, well, he isn't. He was. But of course, like Mateus Bogus, got a season-ending injury um, back end of last year, didn't he? And um, yeah, look, Pervader's like Bogus, continuing his recovery at uh, at Thorpe Arch, at, you know, at Leeds United. Um, but you know, I'd keep Pervader. I would. I'd let him again, like Bogus, recover from his injury. Uh, we know that Rafina's going to go in the summer. Unfortunately, whether Pervader, again, he's the same age as the likes of McCalmont and Davis. You know, he needs to now start, you know, if he's going to break in at Leeds, it needs to happen next season for me. And for me, I'd, I'd keep him as, a, as an option at, uh, at, right, at right wing. I know Somerville, the emergence of Crescentio Somerville is a big one and he probably will be involved as well, I think. I think they'll get a new right winger in. So whether there's space for Pervader, I just think he'd add, you know, a bit more depth. And we've and we've seen in the Premier League last season that he could, you know, do a job, um, you know, when called upon. Really, I know it was that great game he had with City, and he had a point to prove. But he still, you know, he's shown flashes of of goodness, hasn't he, last season? So I'd, for me, I'd, I'd, you know, give him another chance in the first team as a squad player. Um, you know, then we move on to Helder Costa. Now I joked on LS11 didn't I have a look at that, and uh, you know the lads thought it was hilarious. Where you know, give him a go and send him in. You know, give him the replacement of um, you know of uh, Rafina. Replace him in terms instead of Rafina. I was joking. Um, you know, the, the the lads didn't think I was, but you know, I am joking. Helder Costa for me, yeah, doesn't need to uh do, you know, won't won't have any future at Leeds. The club will sell him and that'll be that. I think they'll look like a bit like Kiga Casilla, I think they'll look look to offload him as quick as they can. I don't think Valencia will be interested. He's had a very mixed uh, you know, season with them hasn't really. You know, he's played a lot of games, but it's minutes here and there. It's not many starts for him. I know he started the recent game. Um, I think they lost to was it Osasuna? They lost to. I know he started that one, but for me, I, I just don't. I don't see him ever getting a chance at Leeds again. You know, he's he's twenty eight now. Um, he really does need to be uh, offloaded, really, and and then you've got. The, on the right, you, you, you know, you've got your, you've got your new right winger. Then you've got your, uh, you know, you, then you have your Somerville, and then you've got Pervader. So, you know, if there's room for Costa, I think personally we need two right wingers, actually. But you know, let's wait and see on that one. But for me, yeah, Helder Costa has no future at Leeds United. 
Um, then we go into the three strikers. Um, there is Edmondson, there is Bobby Kanwa, and there is uh, Kun Temenushkov. Uh, and I think all three of them, uh, well, I think Temenushkov and Edmondson will probably both be sold. I think it's about time he is now. I think Edmondson, only 20, isn't he? But I think he does need um, probably... He's always been shipped out on loan. It seems an age since he started uh, that... Well, he came on for his uh, appearance at Ellen Road. Was it against QPR the last day of the 17-18 uh, season? Seems a, an age ago. And he was obviously very young when he, when he made that appearance. Um, but he's been on loan, shipped out on loan plenty of places since then. It hasn't really worked. For me, it's probably time to sell him. Um, Kun Temenushkov, um, you know, is is also you know one that's always been mixed about, isn't he? On 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 loan a lot. Played that uh, QPR game again. QPR uh, this time at Loftus Road in the FA Cup and. He had, that's his one and only Leeds United appearance and for me, again, needs to be sold um, this summer. Then there's Bobby Kamwa, who's on loan at Dunfermline, the Scottish second division. You know, again, like the other lads, he's 22 now. He needs to be playing first-team football, really. I don't see it being at Leeds United, but I do think Leeds will probably um, give him another loan again and see how he gets on, but he hasn't really lit up that division only five appearances in all this season so look maybe it's time that he well I think like I said I think they'll give him a loan again but yeah there's a quick run through um, on the screen there of what you know just what we've gone through obviously I've forgotten one man and it hasn't you know it, it, I did forget one man it is Lawrence de Bock uh, Lawrence de Bock yeah who <laughs> a lot of people are saying who who's that yeah, Lawrence de Bock, forgotten man. He'd been on loan the last two seasons at Zult Wergem. I'd expect the club, like Costa, like Kiko Garcia, to look immediately to, to be selling him uh, now. So, yeah, I think he'll he'll go and, uh, yeah, he'll probably go to uh, Zult Wergem. He's done all right there, really. Um, but, yeah, he'll he'll be sold. Um, and yeah, and that's it then. So let me know your thoughts on on who's going to be sold, who should we keep, in your opinion. What should we, you know, what should we do with these loan men that have been on loan out on loan this season? Hopefully next season I'll keep a bit more of a track on the on on the lads who are out on loan. I did start with it this season, but I slipped off it fairly quickly. So I will try and keep up with how they're getting on next season. Whoever goes out on loan wherever they go but let me know um, your thoughts um, and and everything like that and I'll see you on the next one thank you very much for watching keep subscribing keep liking marching on together like I say I'll see you on the next one